and welcome to A&E TV and the, today's episode of Morning Coffee. Today we're here with Rami El Ali. Good morning, Rami. Good morning. Um, and to get things started, Rami, can you tell us about your morning routine? Um, I'm an early bird. Mm -hmm. I like to wake up early in the morning and the first thing I do uh, sports. Uh, after that, uh, I have uh, two separate offices. One is for the couture and one for the uh, prêt-à-porter. I start with the couture and uh, I finish all my meeting with the production team and if there is any uh, client appointment. After my lunch break, I head to my second office in Dubai Design District, which is for the prêt-à-porter and follow-up. Uh, it needs lesser presence from my side than the couture. It's just more pragmatic line. Okay, um, and speaking of couture, obviously we know Couture Week is coming up soon. Um, what can we expect from you this year? I hope something more interesting than last season. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a theme that I've tapped into uh, a few years back, okay. uh, but I don't think I've reached to the full satisfaction from the result at that time. So that's why I, I went to the same era uh, theme, uh, which it will be revealed soon, and uh, I uh, developed uh, a newer techniques, uh, something more complicated, something more to speak the time of now, and uh, I hope you would like it. Okay. And how important do you think the, the runway show or the presentation is in today's industry? Uh, runway definitely is still the best way to translate the full vision of the designer. You have the production, the movement, the uh, whole exact aesthetic that the designer wants to deliver to the press, the audience and uh, the uh, buyers. But now with the revolution of the social media mm -hmm. and the digital world, I think uh, the presentation has started to be the new cool way that the audience they prefer mm -hmm. to see. Okay. And what have been your biggest successes to date, would you say? Um, I think being able to be the full shareholders of Ram Al Ali Company without uh, any help from any financial institution or uh, investors. Okay. And what about your biggest challenges? What are the challenges you face as an Arab designer? Probably the same, <laughs> uh, since it's a self-funded company. Uh, sometimes uh, that affect or slow down the, the growth of the company, since uh, um, all uh, the evolution of the company happens from the, uh, the, the uh, profit revenue that we generate. Okay. And um, what is there that you still want to achieve? A very, very long, ambitious <laughs> list. <laughs> What's the motto that you live by professionally? Uh, work today as if you're last day. Okay. And who is your, or who or what is your biggest inspiration? Um, I get inspired more by the achievement of people, uh, by the story that they tell, more than just the aesthetic of certain designers mm -hmm. or fashion houses. And probably when I start to shape up my career and start to have my uh, build my own aesthetic, I was inspired a lot by uh, two fashion houses that they left a beautiful mark in the fashion history, which is Dior and mm -hmm. Valentino. Okay. And is there um, a particular person that you look up to? Uh, I do, actually. Uh, uh, it helped me a lot uh, at the beginning of my career, and it's still until now mm -hmm. something I look up to. Uh, it's uh, Mr. Eli Saab, how he opened that door to the international uh, scene for yeah. uh, designers from the region and uh, gave a hope that it's uh, very much possible uh, to, to get there. Okay. Um, and to what do you say no to? Um, I would say anything that don't help me grow. If you could give your younger self some advice, what would it be? Uh, don't worry, you will get there. Okay. And what would you tell yourself 10 years from now? You're a little bit late. <laughs> and complete this sentence for us. I'm happy when? I am happy when I make someone else happy. Um, are you reading a book at the moment? And if so, what is it? Yes, I do. Actually, it's a very interesting, beautiful Arabic novel called Thulathiyat uh, Ghurnata. Uh, and final question, Rami. How would you like the world to remember you? Uh, as someone who didn't just pass by, someone who left a mark. Okay, perfect. Rami, thank you so much for joining us today. And of course, it's always our pleasure to, to have you and to follow your journey and your achievements. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for hosting me. Uh, one of the most dearest 
uh, platform uh, to my heart, uh, supportive from the beginning of the, the, of the career until today. And I hope we we'll always uh, stand up for it. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.